what's up are you want a cloud here and in this video i'm going to show you the benchmark scores of uh, iphone 6s plus and uh, i know that uh, many people uh, don't like to see the benchmarks but uh, if you are someone like me who like to see the performance of a new device and uh, want to gauge the performance against uh, some of the other devices or you want to compare uh, this new device with the one generation older device from the same manufacturer first up let's look at the 3d mark i am actually not a big fan of uh, this benchmark because uh, at times uh, this uh, benchmark does uh, give some misleading scores and uh, usually uh, what i have seen is that it tends to give a lower score to the ios devices however the real world performance is a totally different story that uh, the ios devices performs uh, really well in the gaming as well as other graphics intensive tasks anyways uh, you can see the 3d mark has given the score around 28000 uh, to the iphone 6s plus and uh, unfortunately the iphone uh, 6 plus does not uh, show in the top uh, Uh, devices less so i cannot compare this score with the older generation but if i remember correctly it was uh, close to 19000 or 20000 something like that if i remember correctly and you can see the 3d mark is uh, showing that the nvidia shield tablet is uh, faster in terms of uh, gaming next up is the geekbench 3 and here you can see the dual core processor with the 1.84 gigahertz clock speed with the 2 GB of ram since uh, this is a cpu score so it is going to test the single core and uh, multi core scores and wow you can uh, see the single score is pretty high probably one of the best scores that i have seen and uh, multi core score is uh, equally impressive if you compare the single core uh, score with the previous generation uh, ios devices you can see the iphone uh, 6s plus has uh, outperformed the ipad air 2 which was a little bit surprise for me because the ipad air 2 has a modified version of the a8 processor which is a8x so i expect uh, that the processor will be very fast and ipad air 2 does perform really well but uh, iphone 6s is showing that the uh, single core is even stronger on uh, iPhone 6s plus and i expect a similar kind of score on iPhone 6 since both phones have uh, same processor inside and considering the one generation old uh, iPhone 6 plus you can see quite a large jump in uh, performance and that's very nice to see and the real surprise is that the multi core score is almost same as the iPad Air 2 mind you the iPad Air 2 is a three core processor and uh, this particular processor which is inside iPhone 6s plus is dual core so this generation processor having only two cores is even faster than three cores from previous generation next up is the n22 and uh, quite frankly n22 has uh, mentioned quite rightly that this device is a monster and as you can see it is a pretty high score very close to 60000 and uh, much faster than previous generation devices unfortunately they haven't listed the one generation old uh, devices such as ipad air 2 and iphone 6 that might have been a better comparison n22 is also one of uh, those uh, benchmarks which i don't really rate very highly next up is the gfx bench and uh, gfx bench is the graphics uh, benchmark and it is very important and a very accurate benchmark and it uh, does provide two kind of scores one is on screen and one is off screen usually people uh, only take uh, off screen scores and they forget about the on screen scores but the thing is but the thing is that some games run natively in the on screen resolution and this is one of the reason why you don't uh, see the performance that you are expecting from a certain device because uh, you are considering the off screen scores which are in 1080p but if the screen is uh, higher resolution let's say quad hd or 4k and the device is running that particular game in native resolution let's say quad hd or um, 4k resolution then uh, how come it will uh, give you same frames per second as a 1080p screen or 1080p test so you need to consider both the on screen and off screen test and here quite frankly these numbers are uh, one of the highest that i have seen 
and you can see the Manhattan is uh, close to 40 frames per second uh, both in on screen and off screen which is a very very nice performance. Mind you Manhattan is a pretty graphics uh, intensive test. The T-Rex on screen is uh, limited to a 60 frames per second and this is why you are uh, watching the score is uh, pretty close to 60 frames per second but uh, the next up you can see the off screen is not limited by the 60 frames per second and here the device uh, has leapfrogged the on screen performance and uh, has jumped to 80 frames per second which is a really really great performance and I expect the games will uh, run very very smoothly on iPhone 6s plus and I expect even uh, higher frames per second from the iPhone 6s because uh, it is running less uh, native resolution. However, in the real world, you might not feel uh, any difference at all. This was the case with the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus and same I expect from the iPhone 6s and the 6s Plus. You can uh, see that even in the off-screen uh, comparison, the only device that uh, has beaten the iPhone 6s Plus is the Tegra X1 uh, reference board and I believe this is the same processor that Google has put in the Nexus tablet, I forgot the exact name, it was either Pixel C or Pixel P, something like that. But uh, mind you, this test is the off screen which means it is a 1080p resolution test. But uh, the actual screen resolution of that tablet is higher than that, I think it is uh, Quad HD if I'm not wrong. And uh, you cannot expect uh, this kind of performance from a Quad HD screen, it will be less than that but still not bad either. You can check out rest of the scores but to me these uh, frames per second are uh, more important and tell me some real world numbers. Similar to this uh, GFX Bench uh, GL benchmark there is a GFX Bench Metal benchmark as well and as you can see the iPhone 6s plus got a very similar sort of scores and uh, you can check out on your screen. So guys I hope that you have liked the video and if you have liked it make sure you press the thumbs up button at the bottom of this video and if you like to see more coverage of this device and some of the other devices then um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet. Take care. See you. Bye.